Welcome back for more Reddit stories. Today we have several I don't work here lady stories for you to enjoy. As always, don't forget to share and like if you enjoyed these videos. Without further ado, here we go. Entitled Karen thinks I'm a janitor. Now, this happened about 7 years ago and while I did work in the same building, it was not as a custodian. I was about 19 or 20 when I worked in a hospital food service department as a food service aide. And since the hospital was small, we were the only food option available in the building aside from a vending machine on the fourth floor. So we had a small cafeteria and the kitchen was responsible for making food for both the hotline in the cafeteria and the food for patient rooms. We were always understaffed and run racked all the time. I worked as a dishwasher, a cook in the cafeteria and during lunch and dinner shifts I delivered food to patient rooms. Now. Because I worked in the food service department, I never got mistaken as a custodian thanks to the different uniforms. My department at the time wore ugly barf green uniform shirts, black uniform pants, hairnets and a stupid black chef hat and black shoes. So they were so bad many of the girls were mistaking for guys because of how they were made to fit our bodies. Custodians wore a bright blue polo, black pants and black shoes. Plus, 9 times out of 10, they had either a cleaning cart with them or some kind of cleaning supply. Trust me, this is all important. Now, I was used to getting ordered around by nurses because of the diet sheets and having to deal with irate patients because they were getting beef or chicken broth after surgery. It was all a part of being at the bottom of the totem pole. However, patients or their family were most of the time very nice and happy to see us since we were bringing food. But on this particular day, I was in a pretty foul mood. An entitled nurse was threatening to call my boss if I didn't hand over extra pre-made sandwiches for her and her crew. When she knows we are not allowed to do that. It was late and I was running behind on serving patients to dinner. I was on my first floor and was about to go get another food cart to go to the ICU. When I felt a harsh tap on my shoulder. Cast. Me. K is for Karen and S is for my supervisor. K. Ugh, finally! Do you know how long I have been calling the nurses station for you people? Me confused. I'm sorry, were you trying to get a hold of food service? Uh, no, I've been calling for you. Do you know how long I have been waiting for you? Back then, I wasn't really very good with people. If anything, I used to run away from conflict, but thanks to this place, I was growing a bit of a backbone due to the bitchy nurse staff. And because she caught me in a bad mood, I probably had a WTF do you want look on my face. Me. I'm sorry, how can I help you? K. My insert relative here due to HIPAA has been waiting for someone to clean their room. I have been paging the nurse's station over and over again, but they won't call someone. I would have felt sorry for her had she been a bit nicer to me, since I knew this problem rather well. At the time, the nurses of that floor were entitled and horrible. Many had gotten fired for improper care of patients after I left a couple of years later and thankfully the place is much better now. But back then this was a common complaint. But since she was being an ass to me, I didn't really feel like bullshitting her with a fake smile and taking her complaint seriously. She had aura about her that screamed, I'm better than you, ha ha ha, and I personally cannot stand that. Me. I'm sorry, I'm sure they called for someone. If you wait, I'm sure. Okay, no, I'm not waiting. Get off your lazy ass and do your job. You serve the public, so you will listen to what I tell you. Me realizing what she was talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a custodian. I'm in food service. Stop making excuses and go clean the room. Just pee everywhere. And while you're at it, Get your manager, you suck at your job. Me, madam, you need to keep your voice down. I work in food service. I will go get someone from shut your mouth. How dare you talk to me like that? I make much more money than you will ever make in your life. That means you serve me. Now do what I tell you. I go back and forth with her for a good 10 minutes trying to insist that I don't work as a janitor. And this prompts my supervisor to come to the floor. He was wondering why it was taking so long coming back to pick up the card. And as he comes off the elevator, he sees me with the crazy Karen. 
I could almost see the urge to turn back and run into the elevator in his eyes when Karen turns to see him standing there. Okay, are you this guy's manager? I'm a girl, stupid uniform. S. Uh, yeah, how can I help you? Okay, I want him fired. He's lying and saying he won't clean my insert relative here room. Looking confused, supervisor looks to me as if wanting to know what happened. I looked at him and mouthed silently, help me, she's insane. <laughs> he then looks to Karen. S. Madam, she isn't a custodian. She's delivering food trays to very hungry patients and is not a custodian. Now please keep your voice down or I will call for security. Okay, how dare you? This man has lied to me and tried to assault me. What the hell kind of place is this? She is a food service aide who more than likely has to get food for your relative and other patients. The food is getting cold, so please leave her alone to do her actual job. This apparently pissed her off more as she began to yell in his face. And supervisor told me to go to the kitchen and ask one of the other aides to finish delivering food. I found out later that she was escorted off the property and that she was blacklisted by the relative from coming to see them. Turns out she was right outside their room and they were so embarrassed and angry about her actions that they told the hospital staff to move them to another room and to inform security to keep her from coming back to see them. She didn't take this too well as the cops were called twice afterwards. Never snap your fingers at someone to get their attention. This isn't a typical I don't work here lady story, but does technically fit. I consider myself a patient and cool-headed guy, not easily angered or mad even in tense situations. However, I do have one trigger from my childhood that gets me instantly enraged. Living with my abusive aunt, she snapped her fingers every time she wanted you to do something. So if anyone snaps their fingers to get my or anyone else's attention, I go from a level 1 to 10 in seconds. It's something I'm fully aware of and my friends joke with me on it. Adam's family theme song is my ringtone for when they call. But a few weeks back, I'm at a by and large that is not my usual store I go to. I'm wearing a business bottom-up long sleeve shirt and black slacks. I'm also in sneakers and no tie, just casual nice. I'm passing through the clothing tables in the middle to see if they have anything I like. I first hear the snapping fingers like it's a gunshot. I instantly look over and this large woman is facing away and trying to get the attention of an employee. My rage at hearing the snapping is at an 8 and my eyes are staring daggers at this bitch but she is unaware of my presence. I'm just far enough away that I don't hear their conversation, just bits and pieces that she's trying to find an outfit in her size, it's not likely given her ample size. The female employee with the headset is politely helping her look through the stacks of clothes and that's all the interaction I see take place. I calm down enough and go about my business. I know what I want there and it's to pick up a few select items in the back and freezer section. Roughly 10-20 minutes later, I'm trying to find where a particular item is as it's always been down the same aisle in every store. I look around for an employee and find the same female with the headset walking towards the employee's section in the back. I politely ask her where said item is or not sold at that store. She is as perplexed as I am as it's not her area. She radios in her headset and someone in the back goes to check on a computer. While we were waiting, I inquire about the lady who snapped her fingers at her. The female employee is cool about it and shrugs it off like it's all part of the job. Smiling even, saying that it's a fairly common occurrence. WTF. The person on the radio informs us that the said item is on a different aisle up front so the two of us walk there. I leave my cart off to the side of a new aisle out of the way of traffic. We chit chat about the item and why it's so good. Maybe 10-15 seconds of dialogue when I hear a female voice loudly shout There you are, I need your help and you go walk off? She then snaps her fingers and points down as if she's to heal by her side. I'm instantly enraged to 10. She wasn't even talking to me but that didn't matter. I locked eyes onto her and made a beeline over to where she stood. Don't do this. I snap my fingers inches from her face three times. Each time she winced back with her buck eyes and an open mouth gape. 
The female employee was quick on the take and intervened before I could go off an epic rant I had rolling around in my head since I first saw her do that. The woman could only spot her nonsense like I had slapped her, never taking her eyes from mine. For fear, I would attack her or something. There were quite a few people gawking at the spectacle and several more employees intervened. When the GM came, the fat bitch instantly put on the waterworks and starting hysterically recalling what happened. I was pissed off, but in full control of myself and thinking clearly. I was far enough away, standing there, still breathing slowly while she was freaking out at the girl that someone would attack her like that. Her mistake was when she said through blubbering lips, I want that man fired. He attacked me. Everyone saw it. The puzzled look on everyone's face was evident. The GM, the female employee, the others who came in later. Ma'am, who are you talking about? I chime in with a cool and calm voice. The rude one here believes I work here. So instead of firing me, I quit, boss. Didn't get the laugh I was intending, but it did defuse the tension like a charm. The woman yelled back, you do too work here. I saw you talking with her, pointing to the female employee next to me. The GM looked at me. I looked back and calmly said, yes, as a customer, I asked your wonderful employee here where the pointing to the item that moments ago was requested over the headset, item was, and here it is. The woman goes into another hysterical fit, garbled frustrated noise, none of which are English. GM pulls her aside to calm her down and I go back to my card with an employee escort. I purchase my item and stand in the receipt checking line. I look around and see the bitch walking with the GM towards the manager's office. I snap my fingers to get her attention, but only the GM looks over with a bit of a skull. I head out of the store intending never to come back. Not that exciting of an ending, but I did ruin her day and that's plenty of satisfaction for me. I called the store later that evening to get any additional information and to apologize for my part in the fiasco. The new MOD was made aware of the situation but didn't know many details. He thanked me for my apology and would relay to the GM when they talk next. I asked if she received compensation for her troubles, he assured me she didn't. I don't regret what I did, nor will I apologize to her for it. If she doesn't know what snapping your fingers to get someone's attention is rude and degrading, she deserves the aftermath of someone does it to her in return. Lady didn't know we understood Spanish and it backfired. Me and my twin are versed in multiple languages, probably because we're mixed we know English and Spanish, but we've branched our own more as well. My twin speaks Spanish, Italian and English. While I speak Spanish, English and a little French, German, Japanese and Italian. Anyways, to start with story, me and my twin, gender fluid though presence more female, was in more masculine clothing today minus her booty shorts. So we had been confused for boy girl twins about four times. Of course, this is not our entitled people. We were about 3 hours down on our list and were going to kitchenware to look for cups. When these two Spanish speaking girls, one wore a Mexican flag so I assumed they were Mexican. Now, my twin had a lane yard on so I guess they weren't really paying attention to what she was wearing and started to ask her some questions about where stuff was in broken English. My twin turned to them and explained we could maybe point them in the right direction as we shop here a lot, but that stuff had been moved around recently, so we didn't have an idea either. They seemed nice enough and apologized for not realizing it. But as soon as they turned away, they started chattering, and what they said came out too in Spanish. That stupid ugly gringa, couldn't he or she or it, reversing to English for the word it, just explained that it didn't work here. They favored in referring to my twin as it. The other girl piped up with, yeah, it should have. Don't even know why it, saying it in English, was comfortable coming in public. Stupid ugly ass gringa. My twin's face was mad and sad at the same time. They just wanted to leave, but I wasn't having it. So I turned around and sat at the top of my lungs. Coño lo que dice? Which translates to cunt says what? They both turned and the color drained from their face. I proceeded to yell at them about how all we were was nice and then their little Chicana bust 
were going trash talk my sibling for being nice and respectful and that they shouldn't have to have said anything about no working there as it was clear from how they were dressed as Wally World as a strict employee uniform. They frowned and got mad at me scolding them and my twin had to pull my arm to get me to walk away but not before I repeated said above then said come mierda which translates to eat shit and flip them off. Honestly, like I don't know why they felt the need to be so rude for one and for two y'all trash in Spanish, because they thought we wouldn't understand them and it wouldn't pass by our ears. I don't know if it counts as an entitlement, but they were definitely rude and also threatened to get a manager, but my twin and I quickly left as we were done shopping for the day after that. So those were the stories for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, a like will be highly appreciated. It really does help my channel out. Also, if you enjoy this and want to stay up to date on the latest videos, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening and I will see you in the next video.